this is a video I'm, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, enrolling Chromebooks into your G Suite domain. Um, most of you probably, you know, if you, if you buy bulk Chromebooks, some of you might um, use a, you know, your vendor may do a white glove service, which means they, they enroll them in your G Suite domain for you. Some of you may do them by hand, um, like what we, we do or we've done in the past. Um, but um, I found some code in an interesting little project on the internet when I was looking at a uh, company called Amplified IT and Amplified Labs. Uh, we use some of their plugins in our, our Google Docs to do Chrome inventory and, and, and such. So um, what we ended up doing was we um, uh, were searching around on that and I actually found on their website a little project they have called uh, centipede and this is basically the centipede um, I call it a legless centipede actually because uh, I'm going to put the pins on this but this is an Arduino microcontroller uh, specifically the Arduino Pro Micro um, they're about 9 to 12 bucks you can get them on Amazon uh, I actually bought 10 of these for our project that we're doing here and I bought the cables as well they're micro USB um, they are a, um, you know, like what you get with an Android device or something like that. Um, so basically what the, what the, uh, the, the Caterpillar does, or, well, Caterpillar, I call it Caterpillar, it's Centipede, actually. Um, they actually, um, mimic a keyboard, and you can basically cycle a keyboard through, uh, through a process to enroll a Chromebook. So, um, they have code, you have to, to, uh, create a, a online web editor, uh, account uh, at create.arduino.cc uh, you got to download and put a little plug-in on your computer so that you can load um, load these sketches onto the Arduino um, you have to make a little edits uh, some, some minor edits to your um, to the sketch so it has your Wi-Fi information and your uh, account that you use to enroll devices in your G Suite domain so uh, we're going to fire this up hopefully uh, this thing will cooperate. I've been having fits with it all afternoon trying to make a video uh, and rolling um, this Chromebook. Um, so hopefully this thing will actually work the way it's supposed to. Um, we can turn it off, turn it on a couple times, but uh, uh, hopefully we'll, we'll have everything working here and I'll kind of walk through uh, some of the steps. So I've turn, turned the Chromebook on. Uh, I made some changes so that I can actually plug the, um, the centipede in to the device. Um, I can tell right now I'm going to run into an issue, so I'm going to turn this back off. Uh, this Chromebook's a little bit older Chromebook. It's a refurbished Chromebook that actually has a cellular modem in it, and it seems like when it doesn't detect it, um, it throws my keystroke off. Uh, you'll see right there where it says selected network. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try this real quick. I'm going to unplug. I have another Arduino set up for for that purpose. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it in here. Uh, I got the cable twisted around. Oh, sorry about the camera here. So here we go. And you'll see Arduino is flashing there. Um, we put a delay in there so that when you could plug the, the Arduino in and, and do this um, this way. Um, so hopefully this is the right one. I'm, uh, I didn't want to run that. I actually shut the, shut it off. So um, let's try one more time here. Uh, turn it back on. Uh, see what we got. Uh, this looks to be the right one. So we'll let this run. Uh, while you're watching this, the centipede will flash. It has a red light on it that flashes. Uh, there it goes. It's adding in the wireless and the security. Uh, we're connected. There is a delay there. Um, that's to make sure you have connectivity to your Wi-Fi network before it continues. Uh, the next screen that comes up is, of course, the standard uh, OS terms. And then you, you enter your, your, uh, your enrollment, your, your account that you use for enrollment. Um, does next. We got a little delay in there as well. Uh, we kept running into an issue with network and such like that. Um, 
before it does the password. Uh, put the password in there. And then you'll notice here it's please wait. Um, it's, it's enrolling the Chromebook into your G Suite domain. And once it's enrolled, um, you'll get a um, there is an OK button, a, a done button. You'll see here how this is flashing. We actually added a uh, process or step to automatically hit done. You'll notice how this is flashing now. The one one light is flashing. Um, that means the process is finished complete uh, successfully. So this Chromebook is now on the domain and, and ready to go. So um, hope you hope this video. You hope you liked it. I hope, hope it uh, was uh, informative and, and helpful for you. Uh, we'll have some more information down in the in the uh, the comment section. Thanks a bunch.